What up, what up, what up? Christ 17 TV, baby. We're going to go back in the time machine, man. Like Bill and Ted, you already know. With the Christ 17 Excellent Adventure Player. <clears throat> now, let's go back to my Bronx days. You know what I'm saying? When I used to be uptown. And I'm going to tell you something now. The 47th Precinct. Them motherfuckers were some dirty motherfucking cops. They would fuck you up. They would try all kind of shit on you. Been fucked over by them plenty of times. But it was this one day. Cold winter day. It's been snowing for like a week. We got snow on the ground for like a week and a half. So these were the days when I go in the corner store and we steal Heineken's, right? Put this shit in your puff jacket come outside and we'd be putting them shits in the snow keep them cold sometimes we forgot where we put them motherfuckers in the snow and we find them shits the next day and all kind of shit it was crazy right but anyway we were standing in front of the store by the phone and these cops came and these two cops i never seen them come down this block before that they were new but these motherfuckers, you could tell they was high on coke or something. Because the police eyes were so fucking red. It was like this hat. It was like damn near burgundy. And the motherfuckers jammed us up. Checking us. Lifting up our shit. Checking our socks. All kind of shit. Checking our hips. And we had a gun on us. And they were just talking mad shit. Where is it at? I know that you got something on you. Where is it at? And they were just honest like some fucking dick. So, you know, this is normal shit, though, in the hood. You know what I'm saying? They're going to fuck with you probably three, four, five times a day if you're standing outside. You know what I'm saying? And that's a fucking fact. So, these motherfuckers drive off, right? And it's probably about an hour later, these motherfuckers come back through the block. But now... Older, the older homie, he coming up the block, and he always got the thing on him, and he had on like a, like a, like a fur coat, cause it's like Arctic out there, it's brick, it's snow on the ground. So he walked past us, right? <clears throat> he's like this, he's going past us, and the cops are coming down. So when they go past, so he starts to walk to the next corner, and they come and they see him. And they flip that fucking bitch. And they go for him. Now, he go down this street, but it's a one-way. So now, once he turns the corner, he take off. He cut through some yards, and he's back. He's back to the block I'm on. So he went to the next block, cut through the motherfucking backyards, and jumped the fence, and was running through the other backyards to get to another yard for the, farther down. So... These two fucking hothead, coked up cop, cops, these motherfucking scumbags, they pull back and now they mad that he done ran. So now me and my other boy standing in front of the store and guess what they did? They came over there and started taking that shit out on us. But see, as soon as, as soon as they came back around, me and my boy, we went inside the store. You know, these motherfuckers pulled up on the fucking sidewalk. That's how high the cop was. He pulled up on the fucking sidewalk. They jumped out the car, ran in the store. Now, they take me on the far aisle, the one cop. This motherfucker makes me get on my knees facing towards the glass where you pull the thing for the beers. I'm like this, hands up. He's checking me. This motherfucker takes off my shoes. While I'm on my knees with my hands like this, this motherfucker steps on my calf with his fucking boots and like, tell me where it's at. Tell me where it's at. I'm like, I ain't got shit. And he's just stepping on my fucking leg. He almost broke my shit. That's how bad this shit felt. It was fucking, it was out this world. So they talking shit. They going through the chips. They looking through the chips. They think that we, we came in the store and threw something. So they looking for the shit. They going through the chips. They going through the little shit that has the motherfucking cookies. They're lifting it up. They even checking behind the sodas, behind the beers. 
And the motherfuckers swear I got some, but I didn't have nothing on me. I was just hanging outside, chilling. You know what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers high as fuck. So they take my other boy, because he's talking shit now. He said, man, get the fuck, get your fucking hands off me, man. So the, so, so the one cop, he was a big white, he looked like an Irish cop, like fucking straight eyes, was mad red, blue eyes, but they was red as fuck, because that motherfucker was high on some kind of dope. So now, he's searching my boy, and he's fucking roughing him up, like going through his pants, pulling his pants all the way down, checking his boxers, all kind of shit. So there's a bathroom in the store, right? But it's only for the people that work in the store. So the cop takes my boy in the fucking bathroom and slams the fucking door. And all you can hear is like, boom, 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 boom. This motherfucker took his gun and jammed it in my boy mouth. Chipped half of his front fucking tooth. Made him get on his fucking knees and, and say, where the fuck is the work at? We didn't have no work. We were just chilling. We were smoking weed, man. That's what the weed was doing. And we had our little Heinekens. So he, in the bathroom, he didn't put the, put the hammer through my man's mouth, chipped his tooth, bust his fucking lip, didn't find shit on him, didn't find shit on me. So now they motherfucking bring my boy out the bathroom. He's bleeding. His tooth is cracked. The motherfucker pulls me up from the motherfucking floor, take us outside, and it's like, where is the shit at? And who was that dude that just ran? I said, I don't know who the fuck you talking about. Will knows nobody who ran. Yeah, he ran back through the, through here. You seen him. Which way did he go? We said, we don't know which way. He went, what the fuck are you talking about? And I'm telling you, this fucking cop grabbed my boy up by his fucking collar and slammed him up against the phone. And he told us both. If you motherfuckers are out here, when we come back, we take you to fucking jail and we're going to fuck you up. Told us that shit. I'm talking about this fucking cop was so high on coke, you you can see it all through his face. His, his fucking little, he's like damn near grit, like gritting his teeth. Like, you know when somebody's high. I mean, if you've been high and you got friends that get high, you know what it looks like when a motherfucker's high. And he was high. As the motherfucking sky. Like I said, his eyeballs were the same color as this. Now, we both left. We both sh shook the spot because the next thing was they're going to put some shit on us. That's what we automatically was like, okay, I'll catch you tomorrow. So, about a week later, it's still snowing. Now, there's a van with five cops in a van. And one of the cops from that night was in that fucking van. So, they pull up to the block, and I live on this block, so I'm always outside. I got friends there. I go to the store. I hang out. I drink a beer. I, I smoke. I'm a kid still, but I'm out there all the time. I'm like, whoops, 15, 16 tops. So now the motherfucker tell me to shake the spot and leave. So now they go all the way around the block. So now I'm walking down towards the end of of the block, but these blocks uptown, they're long fucking blocks, it's like, probably like two regular blocks is a long block, so, these motherfuckers come back around the corner, back again, and I'm walking all the way down still, so, the motherfucker drives by me mad slow, and I just spit on the floor like, <sighs> these motherfuckers hit they brakes, the one cop jumped out the car, ran up on me, grabbed me, and choke slammed me in the fucking snow. And said, don't you ever motherfucking spit on the floor in front of me again, you disrespectful piece of shit. I should fucking kill you. The motherfucker told me he should fucking kill me for spitting on the fucking floor. And he jumped out and choke slammed me. Thank God that, thank God the shit was snow because he would have choke slammed me. He would have bust my fucking head wide the fuck open. And that's just, you know, a little quick little story about Uptown in the BX, man. The 47 Precinct is some dirty dogs, man. Them motherfuckers will do some dirty shit to you. I've been victim. My friend been victim. They put the gun in his mouth, chipped his tooth, bust his lip. He's fucking bleeding. And we didn't do anything wrong but hanging out. That's all. We just hanging out. But they seen us hanging out a long time. So they thought that we was doing something. But we wasn't doing shit. We just chilling. 
And that's how that shit be sometimes, man. So you got to watch where you be because you could be at the wrong place at the wrong time. And these motherfucking cops be getting high, too. They just like dope fiends with a badge, cocaine with a badge. They'll fuck you over just like a motherfucker in the street or even worse. So just keep that in mind. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Watch what you say to the cops because they'll fuck around and bust your fucking ass. It's been proven. It's been happened to me, to my people. That's why I, I just keep quiet. The best thing you can do is just shut the fuck up. Let them search. Let them not find nothing and go about your business. As soon as you start mouthing off, talking shit, that's when they be on your ass too. So just take that advice, man. You know what I'm saying? On Christ 17 TV. Hit you with another one. And another one. And you know what I'm saying? Have a blessed night. Happy New Year. The whole shit. This is another one. So like, subscribe, share, and please comment on these videos. And let me know if you had an experience with the police that was dirty and they shitted on you too. Alright, Christ 17. Catch you on the motherfucking flip side, player.